All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakadash Barakatham. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace, love, and salutations to you, Akim, that's pushing this truth and true sincerity. And basically, this le this lesson is going to be at the scripture of the day. It's John 15 and 22. And if I got some other precepts, I'll elaborate. So I'll start off in John 15 and 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not sinned, but now they have no cloak for their sins. And just a brief observation, excuse me, a brief observation of what I saw today, but just by handling business. As we all know, these people are hooked on these phones. These people are hooked on technology, what's in the phone. It's called a smartphone. But then these people are dumb as all hell. So for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the warning has already been put out there. And you got these tech, you got this phone where you really don't have to use a computer. You know, for as less as maybe 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 bucks, you can get a cell phone plan. And you can do everything under the sun with the cell phone. So there's no really no cloak for um you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Give me one sec. Excuse me. I, I was just making sure the phone's on airplane mode. But basically it says, If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not sinned, but now they are no cloak for their sins, because the prophet's been speaking to you, so there's no excuse now to where right now, you know, people might be on... In their car, they might be on a bus or a train going back home from work or on a vacation. There's no excuse not to know the truth about you being a Hebrew Israelite, okay? Because this truth has gone out. This is Matthew. Matthew chapter 24. Verse 14. And it says, in this gospel, the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And there's Israelites waking up right now in different parts of the world, so there's no excuse for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in America not to get this word. You know, you're too busy looking at dumb videos on Instagram or Facebook. Look at a nigga's timeline. It's full of dumb shit that's not going to edify them, build them up. It, pro it promotes thoughtless brain activity. Look at the nigga at your job. You, you got me working with this idiot. And that's, that's our people, man. Okay? The, the words have been put out. And it's just too close to the end, man. But a lot of you people, man. A lot of you people just deserve to be in a concentration camp. And when I look at you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. i seen grandmothers with red hair and tight clothing you know i've seen today i've seen just multiple dreadlocks that's a heathen custom you israelites should not be wearing dreadlocks i've seen people just digging out of trash cans i've seen and this is in the good parts of the city this this wasn't the hood Let, let's get it understood it wasn't the hood okay this is in a good residential well-to-do neighborhood funny color hair niggas you know grandmother looking bugged out you know, Jake just wandered, man. You know, Jake just lost in the sauce. And this is this wasn't even the hood, man. This is like a good residential neighborhood. All right? So this is Jeremiah 6 and 10. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ears are circumcised and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. So consider the blessing to get this word. You know, because they, a lot of our people have no delight in hearing that their good job is going to be done away with. That that car that they put so much trust in, or that woman, or this American Pie Society of Living, they've been trusting in it. They don't want to hear that this place is going to be done away with. They have no delight in it. And the word of the Lord has become a reproach because they want everything to go back normal. So much that they'll do drastic measures. And you know what we're talking about. I don't even have to even explain that. If you don't take, if you don't do this, you won't get that. Let's just keep it like that. It says, "Behold, their ears are circumcised, and they cannot hearken; they can't hear." So, 
you know, sometimes we might blast. I know with me, man, sometimes I get mad at Jake. I be like, you mother... But it's like, you can't get it. Isaiah. And that's a blessing in itself to get this truth, man. Isaiah 44, I think it's like 18. They have not known nor understood, for he have shut their eyes that they cannot see, and their hearts that... They cannot understand. So you see these bugged out jakes. They just losing their mind. You put your trust in the world. Well, look what's going on in the world right now. You know? You put all your trust in that. Well, how's that going for you? How's that working out for you? So it's spiritual. These are the same people that did this. And I'm going to end it off with this and maybe another one. This is my Matthew 27. I think it's verse 25. Matthew 27 and 22, Pilate saith unto them, What shall I do with Yahweh Shai, which is called the anointed? Then all say unto him, Let him be crucified. These are the Israelites. These are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in our native land. And the governor said, Why? What evil have you done? But they cried out the more, saying, Let him be crucified. Now they, they crucify spiritually. You know, every time... The women of our nation getting a testimony of God is some white man with uh, blonde hair and blue eyes looking sad like a puppy dog. And that's all women. All you Native American women, the black women, the Hispanic, Latino women, they all point to uh, Jesus Christ. I hate saying that word, but I just got to say it for the sake of edification. So they crucified him, you know, spiritually, like it says in uh, Revelation 18 and 11. So when... The God of the Bible brings this, then there's no cloak for your sins because you heard the truth by now. But you keep thinking on Jesus and you Muslims. Let, let me again, let me not get on you guys, man. You Muslims, man, it's over with for you guys, man. All right, you you Moorish guys. All right, you Black Egyptology, Scientologists, whatever you're into, it's over for you. So you're crucifying your house shot now spiritually, man. So he's gonna come back and slay you. All right, like it says in Luke 19 and 27, we're just looking at we're just looking at a bunch of traitors, a bunch of Benedict Arnold's out here. All right, you know what happened to him. Matthew 27 and verse 23, and the governor said, "Why? What evil have he done? Because Yahweh Shai came back as a perfect man, and, and niggas gonna find an excuse to be like, see, it was him. I knew it was him. He won't. He was up no good. The same how it's gonna be now. Them and them boys preaching hate." Man, I don't even know, man. Them boys are talking shit about the white man. See, you know, I believe we all one race. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be like that with Jacob in these days, man. They mean to try to give, him, give us up, man. Um, verse 24. When Pilate saw that he could not, he could prevail nothing, but that, a, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude. And this guy's not innocent as well. He's going to get his reward being an Edomite. Saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See you to it. Verse 25. Then answered all the people and said, he, His blood be on us and on our children. You know, so um, I want to end off with one more scripture. I'm going to find it in my apocrypha. But these are the same people who deny Yahweh Shai. So, you know, you sometimes you get mad, but it's like these are the same people um, really who deny the Lord. So let me just try to find this. Right, quick. But it's a spiritual reason why. You know, it's not physical, it's spiritual. A lot of these people from back in the day, they worship other gods. You know? So I'm going to try to find this one right quick. Just bear with me. Second Ezra 9 and um, 11. And they that have loved my law while they have yet liberty, and when they and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be saved, and when but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and for whom the world is created. Second Ezra eight and one. And he answered me then, saying, The Most High hath made this world for many, but the world to come for few. So the world to come is for few. 
and it was created for the, their men's sake. So we're not concerned about how these niggas get put to death. It's really not our concern, man. Our spirit, our concern is to speak life into these situations in these last days because, um, like you mentioned, the second edge is chapter 6, verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So we got, if we endure and, and get saved, we got, we've got forever to think about. So, you know, right now it's temporary. So, shalom.